Hi, this is Dan Gibby at Master Trader. Let's take a quick look at the spiders here, and then I'm going to show you the technical patterns of two trades that we're still in and all three of our newsletters and how they fared in light of the S&P 500 ETFs. Very chaotic uh, moves over the last uh, week to 10 days. So it closed very bullish here on the daily chart, and then last week it gapped down red green sold off again bottoming tail then we're closing back into the gap fill range weekly chart on the right though has a nice bottoming tail and an uptrend on the weekly chart but there was a lot of uncertainty with the news the trade wars all kinds of news things you can point to but we love our objective analysis to the broader markets of course using a technical fundamental approach to trading stocks and ETFs or anything that moves for that matter. Let's take a look at this because I got an email from a few of our subscribers saying, I can't believe these two trades were in are fantastic and they held up in, in, the, in the storm of the market recently. But I'm going to show you the technical reasons of, of what we did and how we managed these. XPF is the pharmaceutical S&P um, ETF. And we have a master trader ETF investor where the intent is to just trade liquid ETFs with longer holding periods where multiple time frames are in alignment. And we're looking to generate wealth. We're looking for big gains. So let's start here on the right side, which is a weekly chart. Master trader loves shakeout patterns. This here at the um, May lows here, ugly red bar breakdown, followed by a bullish engulfing right back into the breakdown area of support. We call that a bullish 180 reversal. It's a form of shakeout. Ever since this happened, this ETF has been on our long radar screen. End of story. Then we go down to the daily chart to look for our entries. So let's talk about a couple of possible entries. This one right here, June 6, wide range igniting bar from consolidation at the rising 20. It had a deep retracement, but then you gotta line this up July with this bar. So that's this big engulfing bar after a greater than 100% retracement, we're expecting a pullback. The amount of the pullback dictates how strong it is. We got roughly a third pullback from the run from here to here. We just eyeball it. You don't need Fibonacci's, any of that nonsense. We have a few moving averages here just as visual aids. And you can see that the 20 and 50 moving average here correspond exactly with this support area. And we have an engulfing bar. So that's right here. That was a beautiful place to add to your position. Here's a third no-brainer place to add to your position. This is my breakout. This is my bullish engulfing. These two weekly bars right here represents this greater than 100% move. What did the stock then do? Did it retrace in price or consolidate sideways to burn off steam? It consolidated sideways in time. So right when this bar broke out of this little bull flag consolidation and then an engulfing bar there, beautiful time to add. You have a rising 20, 50, 200. Look at this. So I showed you the, the SPY, the, the, the chaos that it's been in in the last 10 days. Look at this. This was relative strength. You had one little tail there snapped right back. Check out this monthly chart. It's been in a multi-year trading range and it's breaking out with a price void above. We intend on holding this in our ETF investor letter for a while. I mean, this, this is great on multiple time frames. Now let's check out Apple. Again, in the market chaos, what did this beast do? It had a earnings professional gap to all time highs on August 1 on igniting volume. Another wide range move consolidated through time, not price. Above the 20, above the 50, somebody might ask, well, Dan, isn't that extended? Well, yes, but the consolidation through time 
made it worthy of a new bullish entry. So right on this bar last Wednesday in our weekly options trader, which specializes in shorting out of the money credit spreads around compelling patterns for weekly income paycheck. All we do is call a, a bottoms and tops, a bottom in this case, obviously. We sell an out of the money bull put credit spread. We put money in our pocket and we actually close this into the close on Friday at a 87% of maximum profit in less than two days. We also wanted a directional trade. So we have directional stock and option trades, but for our master trader advisory letter, we recommended just buying the stock, which we did last Thursday on the intraday setup on this professional gap up. A day later, we sold one third of our position for a, a multiple, multiple dollar gain. We have two thirds of our position left weekly chart looks great monthly chart is to all-time highs and it just looks fantastic check out our three uh, advisory letters if you want to see how we come up and find and trade these patterns so the master trader advisory letter we trade stocks options very detailed market analysis you get updates on trades you get new trade updates you get all the technical reasons substantiating the setup. So it's, it's not only benefiting from our homework of market analysis and coming up with the best stock and option picks, but you're learning along the way. Weekly options trader, as I said, specializes in selling options, options and spreads using the master trader strategies. And we get paid just for calling tops or bottoms. And then our master trader ETF investment trader which is, as I said, all of the um, outstanding market and sector analysis. And we just trade the best of the best instead of a buy and hold of, of the underlying market. Hope that helps. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to continue to learn how to make money investing and trading in the markets. Happy trading and talk soon.